Imagine if we had our most forward-thinking clients in a room with our favorite thought leaders, our favorite partners, and bring all of the Mercer knowledge base together. What could happen? Amazing things could happen, right? Pulling people together, coming together on a problem. This is how organizations in the future will operate. Let's expand our notion to every question we can possibly ask and then distill them down into the most elegantly framed questions so that we can solve the right things together, the things that matter to you. This is a personalized experience. We're expecting to deliver as best we can today an experience that addresses your questions. One of the great things is you represent about four million workers around the world, which is fabulous, 150 countries, and you actually work across almost every major industry. So the voice in this room, I think, is a very powerful voice because it is absolutely global. One of the things we spend a lot of time on is how do we think about that aging workforce? So just to foreshadow some of the research that we're doing with Mercer at the moment, which I think is, is very interesting, is to look at companies where there are age diverse business units uh, and within the same company a, a more homogenous business unit. And what he's finding already is that the age diverse business unit is outperforming. Ultimately, people want to feel fairly compensated and they want to feel respected on the job and that they have a good job and, and I think that's the kind of thing that we are ultimately trying to charge multinationals and corporate America with. When you show someone how to show up and be the best version of themselves every day, you're showing them that you actually care about them. The best retention strategy is actually caring about your people. Technology enables us to get away from the one size fits all. That is critically important, which makes events like this incredibly important. Winston Churchill. Mm -hmm. So Winston Churchill, well, my friend Winston, <laughs> said, to improve is to change. To strive for perfection is to change often. So the new normal is already AI. It's not like it's coming, it's already the new normal. Now, the machine learning part of it is the part that still has to incubate further. I like to think of a world where there's cobots as opposed to robots. So where all of us are working with robotics to make us more effective in the decisions that we make, and together a better decision is made and better outcomes. But the next generation of this technology, which are called generative adversarial networks, work much more like our brain and are capable of holding multiple thoughts in parallel. Those are going to come to market in the next few years and blow our minds in what they can do. The start of your transformation program, your digital transformation program, should not be about technology. It should be about encouraging people to have these great ideas, uh, to think about what's coming next. We're doing some things in other parts of the organization that are very innovative, and we're telling people, we want you, it's okay to fail. We want you to try new things and, and try things differently. What Merck is trying to do is to create an environment where scientists feel empowered, they feel enabled, and they have the freedom to fail. They have the freedom to take risks. Mexico's young people are very motivated. We are generating, as I mentioned, 100,000 engineers. And that, that just implies that there's a huge young workforce that is just wanting an opportunity. Silicon Valley doesn't have enough talent to, to do whatever they need to do in the Bay Area, and, and Mexico and Latin America has been a great source of talent. So we have individuals that are gonna be online, live, from around the world to help us think through some of these issues and allow you to focus group some of the perspectives that you have. Again, with multiple generations, lots of unique perspectives all over the world, Trying to get people to figure out what works for them and for their personality is definitely key because some people are innovative in groups and some people are innovative by themselves. I think reliance on technology is increasingly becoming something that uh, lay people have entry to, but there's some unintended consequences to that. This is where all of this work becomes meaningful to you, and we're calling it a talent hackathon. Whatever plan you have for your business strategy and how it meets your organizational operations strategy to meet your people strategy, that intersection is of great interest, I think, to all of us. We're going to find people with common issues or complementary perspectives, and we're going to do a little bit of matchmaking in that to connect you with each other.
it really is exploring together how we're going to solve these problems. And we're certainly trying to teach our people to think differently about how they add values. Why don't we give each other a round of applause and we'll let you on your way. So thank you. Remember that you're not alone and change faster than ever is inevitable.